Pixels. Welcome back to another episode of Channel Your Life for More Intuitive. For those of you who are new here, my name is Erin Chandler. I'm an intuitive guide, healer, psychic medium, author, and teacher. And of course, a channel because we are all channels. So I have a lot of messages coming through in regards to this big, bold energy of the Leo new moon. I'm also being told to tie in the Alliance Gate portal as well as the eight-year new cycle that's just begun on the 13th, plus all the energies that led up to this that are allowing us to take big, bold steps, the big, bold vision, all of these divine aspects that we have been being pulled towards led towards all of these different things, but it's also about earth magic. Now, here's why I say this. It is the divining of the divine above us, down and into and through us and rooted into the physical 3D form. This energy, you guys, is palpable. It's not just palpable. It is exciting. It is it has a lot of fire. Of course, it's a Leo, which is a fire sign. But there's so many more things at play that are actually pushing us towards this, helping us open up into those layers. So how I've been receiving this is I've been getting a blip of information for a subset of souls over here. And then I have another chunk of information for another subset of souls on the other side who are dealing with different aspects of it. So it's like some of you are just about to step into this. Some of you are in the midst of it. And some of you, you're like, yep, I just did that and I'm rocking and rolling. So everybody's at a slightly different place. I want you to take what resonates and I want you to leave what doesn't. You will know which category or subset of souls that you are a part of or where you're at on your journey for stages and phases. You're also going to get very clear on your path. I'm hearing this song for somebody. Let me see my choice is clear. Leave, leave, let me be the That's the song coming in. So that's very loud and proud. That's a very Leo. It's bravery, it's courage, it's strength, it's all heart when it is absolutely balanced and for the highest good. So there's somebody on here being reference of earth and magic, getting your feet on the ground, putting your feet on the ground, divining in, taking the steps, seeing the plan, because there's one common denominator, my friends, in everything that you manifest, in everything that you do, every action you take and every action you don't take. The common denominator is you. It happens through each and every one of us. There's somebody on your, I, I, it's like, don't give up. I'm hearing, we're, we're literally pushing energy into you, flooding you with divine light, giving you the strength and the energy. Your energy can be infinite when you call on the divine. I have Archangel San Dolphin showing up here. This is Radiant Beings, Sentient Souls. I'm hearing this. <laughs> Radiant Beings and Sentient Souls, all of you on the earth plane who are divining, who are bringing in the divine, who are focusing your thought forms on bringing in things of that which is for the highest good. You have big, bold visions. It is time for you to step forward and remove anything that is fallen on your path. One of you have an obstacle. It's like this dead tree fell on the middle of your path. They're showing it to me as it's the debris. And I'm being told to tell you that tree is long dead. Pick it up, move it over, and keep moving forward. There are no obstacles that you cannot overcome. This requires of you discipline. It requires of you focus, regardless of what energy has shown up. Side note, I have somebody else on here being, uh, you need to know there's intentional obstacles that were put in your way by other people who do not want you to manifest whatever it is you're manifesting because it it's a game changer. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest is a game changer, big time. I have seen a giant bullseye in the room. It's not just a game changer. Remember friends, whatever you choose to manifest, when you're manifesting for the highest good, when you're manifesting what your soul is yearning for, it's not just about you. You're not the only part of the manifestation. It benefits all of us. Each and every time one of us rise up, there is a section of this that's actually in the channel that I did on August 13th, at the beginning of the eight-year news cycle. That video is coming out tomorrow. Please make sure you 
subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you get notified when these channels come out. So wrap a space that down with me and really hit it home in terms of what these energies actually mean when we tie them together. So that channel is coming out tomorrow. Please make sure you catch it. It's very much tied into the Leo new moon energy. It's tied into the planetary aspecting, things that are trining, things that are retrograde, the Venus star, Leo. They're all combining together all roads lead home. Follow your arrow because it is pointed in exactly the direct path. So don't give up. Allow yourself to cultivate the momentum of what it is you are trying to create, why you're trying to create it. Remind yourself of this and do not give up. So this is a very specific message. I don't care what obstacles come into your pathway. They, they got nothing on you. That's what I'm hearing. Untouchable, unstoppable unbreakable. This, these are all these very powerful, intense words coming through because words are one, says Florence Chen. She, Florence Scoble Chen is saying that you must remove any thought forms, any projections, any limiting beliefs. You must also remove any interferences energetically or energetic manipulations. This allows you to have a full-blown focus, mind, body, and spirit, when you remove these interferences, this is important because that is why manifestations get off track. You manifest something you didn't expect to, things don't go out the right way. Twofold, says Florence. Sometimes those are lessons that you need on your journey to manifest the thing you're trying to manifest. But there's also those of you who this should have been manifested before. And the reason that it's not has nothing to do with you in this former aspect. It has to do with the interferences. You will know if that message is yours. All of those interferences are being removed. You have the power to remove them through your words, through your thought forms, through your mind. Your mind is your grace asset. It is where things come into manifestation. You must be able to hone, identify when something is in it that, can, that shouldn't be or doesn't need to be. This is kind of like a side message for somebody to really cultivate very clear focus. I do not consent to any energy or thought forms that are not mine. Removing all bondage and attachments removing all indentured service for somebody on here, casting out any consciousness or thought forms that are not of your own soul's core essence or are not divine by the most high. This is very important for somebody on here. You have the most glorious future ahead of you. And when I say glorious future, your big, bold vision is out of this world. That's the energy that I'm hearing that I want to giggle about this because it seems so, I want to say, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I know I'm doing that. And yes, it's wild and it's big and it's bold. But guess what? The universe wants you to win. The vision that you have, you have that vision because you can make it a reality. The common denominator that's required to make it a reality is you co-creating with the divine spirit. It doesn't matter if you don't know all the steps. It doesn't matter if you don't know how you get there. Keep focusing on it. Keep imagining it. Keep seeing it. Keep feeling it. Keep doing those things and take one step at a time. Take one step at a time. I'm also hearing the fight song for somebody on here. It's by Rachel Platten. And I'm also hearing this song. This is so funny. So fight song, if you want to look that up, it's very empowering. And now I'm hearing the song, I got the power. You guys know this old song. I'm dating myself totally here. It doesn't matter. So it's a very, very powerful energy to understand that the only thing that can stop your manifestation at this point when you encompass this energy and you remove all interferences or thought forms is you, your doubt, your belief of, I don't know how it's going to happen. Your idea that it has to be on a certain timeline, that it has to meet certain things. Those are actually limitations that are stopping the manifestation from coming through. You have to be able to say, this is what I want. This is coming and let it go. Allow the divine to help you. You are not doing this all on your own. For somebody on here, you're trying to do everything on your own. That's actually the reason why you're not manifesting the thing you want to manifest. So that might seem shocking because there is a fine line. There is a balance. There is the yang action, but you also have to have the divine receiving from the divine. The yin, we receive and take an action. We receive and take an action. And so the story goes. That's the appropriate round and round, says Ava. Yes, mom. That's the round and round you want. That balance, that ebb and flow, the give and the take. And it's divining and it gets, she's showing me as a funnel. We start at the beginning, give and take, give and take. It gets bigger, it gets wider. It goes all the way up until it's 
massive. Okay, so that's the round and round you want. You don't want the round and round that takes you down into the rabbit hole where you can barely breathe or rock bottom. Somebody on here, you are at rock bottom. Your rock bottom is actually required in order for everything that is in your way, ego I'm hearing, everything that's in your way must be in shambles in order for you to rise up, rise up. And while that might seem kind of dark or dense or maybe not required, because it's not required for a lot of people to hit rock bottom at all in order to step into their highest momentum. But there are some people on here who you have very specific karmic lessons, things that you're doing, people you're engaged with, part of your mission. Or sometimes you have to be in shambles in order to build a new, in order to cultivate your faith. But that's not a requirement to expansion. It's not a requirement to growth. Do you want to know what a requirement is? You making a decision to go higher, rise up, do better, follow your visions, your big, bold visions. We want to bring them onto the earth plane, co-create with the divine. This Leo New Moon energy. So let's go back. We have the Lionsgate portal, which was 8-8, eight, eight, okay? The number of infinite. If you have not watched that channel already, the Lionsgate portal channel, I will link that at the end of this video so you can go back and watch that. Um, there's a lot of great information in there. Serapis Bay is joining us for quite some time in order to help us anchor, plan, create a plan, or put the plan in motion and you already have the plan, taking the steps for the plan and doing it with the mind. Because you are not alone. You literally have the entire help of the divine. It requires you to be able to do that. It requires you to take steps. It requires you to trust. Because you gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. It requires you. So Lionsgate Portal 88. What is this? The gates are open to higher dimensional aspects and perspectives, which means you have access to higher frequency energy, which means your manifestations can happen very rapidly. It depends on your focus and your intention and the amount of energy you push towards it. So that's the first thing. Let's look at the portal. This is the amplification from the divine, from the universe, amplifying this infinite energy. It's an amplification of infinite energy, moving you through a portal from one state to another state, one thought form to to another platform, one version to another version, this timeline to that timeline. It's a portal for jumping. The gates are open for you to do that, to divide in those the higher dimensional frequencies, perspectives, however you wish to look at this. This is also an activation of somebody, DNA, I am hearing, at the Isha, at the a, opening up a light code, rewriting the imprinting that happens on your physical avatar in the atoms and particles of your condensed body. Because remember, we are condensed energy to come into physical form. It's dividing it in into a condensed energy. So let's look at the second thing that happened. On August 13th, there was the start, brand new start of an eight-year new cycle. Do you want your next eight years to look at the last eight years? I'm, I'm a hell no. I'm, I'm positive that some of you are going to be a hell no too. For those of you who are living the life of your dreams, maybe it's a hell yes and more. This or something better. The point of telling you this is when we move into a new cycle, the old cycle must end. That means the relationships. That means the thought forms, the ways of being, the things that hold you back or the limitations. That's actually what we've been unpacking for quite some time, my friends. So if you wonder why sudden things come up, you had emotions, why we were doing so much purging, is because August 13th was the start of an eight-year new cycle, and we want you to win, and the divine wants you to win. We want you to expand. We want you to live the life of your dreams. We want you to flourish and thrive. That's the whole point. There's nothing holding me back. There's nothing holding you back. There's nothing holding me back. Sometimes it's us that's holding us back. So the divine is here to like push you through. Now let's move forward. We now have a Leo new moon. What's happening in the Leo new moon? On all the channels I have done in the last, I want to say two weeks, they all touch on a certain facet that's being identified to be let go of so that it's not coming with you in this new cycle. At the time, I did not know that there was an eight-year new cycle. I just know. I decided one day I heard I needed to look it up. And when I did, I was blown away at all this information that lined up Astro astrologically, the planetary alignments that lined up with literally everything that all of these deities, gods, goddesses, and masters, masters were talking about or channeling through. So right now, at the start of an eight-year new cycle, 
If you didn't get started or know about it on August the 13th, that doesn't matter. What matters is when you know better, you do better. When you understand it's a new cycle, when you understand you get to divine and co-create, when you understand the energy is actually helping you, giving you an amplified energy to move forward into a better way of doing things that's better for you or for the highest good. Go back to the big, bold vision, says Ava. Big, bold vision is very important. What you do in your vision, that you envision, that is freeing, that is a new way of doing things, it helps all of us. It's for all of us. Even if I don't ever see the thing that you create, even if I don't ever learn it or it's not even part of my path, it doesn't matter. The fact that you created it means there are certain people who benefit from the thing that you are creating for the highest good. And maybe that person that you benefit is meant to connect with me over here, even though we're doing different things. It's a giant ripple. It's a giant web. It's a giant net. We are all interconnected. When one person rises, it gives another person the opportunity to rise and another and another and another. In the other channel, Serapis Bay talks about this in so much detail. So I'm not going to go there on this video because this is really about the new moon in Leo. The divine is literally raising you up. It's like I'm seeing somebody being raised up on water, which is so interesting. Somebody standing at the edge of the water. And it's kind of like the movie Moana where um, the water picks her up. The ocean chose you is what I'm hearing. The ocean chose you is picking you up. That's a specific message for somebody on here. The ocean chose you. I think it is uh, lean into that, lean into that knowing, feel it deeply, become uninhibited, allow yourself to divine and be who you are. You have a big, bold vision for a reason. I think whoever this message is for, you also speak like languages, follow them, listen to them, divine them, speak to them, share them, learn from them, grow with them, expand with them, and rise up, rise up. Don't limit yourself. You didn't come here to limit yourself. You came here to identify the things that are limiting you so that you can expand and rise and grow and move into a higher frequency activations. This is part of the Great Awakening, my friends. Yes, it's a collective Great Awakening. Yes, it's on the world stage. But it's an internal process. I have a lion's roaring. I love that. A lion's roaring. I keep seeing my friends, a white lion with chakra energy centers, the seven main chakras. However, I'm being shown now that the, uh, we have moved far beyond the seven main chakra energy centers. We have moved so far beyond them that we are now going to encompass the 12, the 12 chakra energy centers through Sanskrit, through divining, through many masters. This is very important because in each chakra energy center, there are actually 12 dimensions, 12 astrological houses. They create the Sanskrit, the wheel. I, I don't know whether chakra means wheel in Sanskrit. Meaning, yes, we need to tell you, this is my guide, Ellen, okay? That's the um, understanding and teaching of it. But there's different facets of the wheel. There are different ways to move energy and shift energy. I know that people can manipulate energy. And this means if someone can manipulate energy for nefarious purposes or for positive purposes, you're not straight. I'm going to identify how to use it for positive purposes, for protection, for shielding, for manifesting, for activating people, for helping people move along the ascension process. Because that's usually when the manipulation of energy steps in, just to be clear. So I'm not sure why that's coming through in this video, but I trust it implicitly that it is for somebody on here that you need to know. Rise up. Speak your truth. Utilize the energy around you. That does not mean you are manipulating anyone else or anyone else's manifestations or thought forms. This means you're fully focusing on you to move the energy around you. Energy does not die. It transforms. So if we are all of the same energy source, we all carry the same energy, whether I'm condensed to this, whether I'm in this avatar or that avatar, whether I'm a male or a female, whether I'm a tree, a plant, a bird, or a person, or the table beside me, it's all created from the same energy, my friends. We're all from the same source energy, which means we can move it, we can shape it, we can divine it, we can bring things up into the earth, earthly form. I'm also hearing the void. Some of you need to move into the void to manifest from the void, to manifest from the absolute stillness and silence and darkness of the origination of the divine, where all things come into being or creation. Hi, Ava. Aww. 
Some of you will experience this differently. Some of you will understand the void differently. There isn't a right or a wrong in this capacity. I want you to follow your understanding of it. Moving into the void allows you to see unencumbered what you can bring into form, what you can let go of. You can also see all the different possibilities and you can see and see a very bright light dividing down for you exactly what your school's mission is. Everything is a choice point, my friends. Everything. And you get to choose. Don't give away your power to choose. Don't feel like you don't have a choice because you always have a choice. This bright light of whoever this is who's sitting in the void right now or who's a bed to or meditating on it or just did maybe perhaps and being shown very clearly the brightest, whitest, golden light in all the ray frequencies, rainbow sheep, this is a rainbow sheep that this is for. It's like, it's so obvious, it's so clear. In fact, I have your higher self saying, could we make it any more obvious? Stop stopping, keep going. Don't work, don't worry that thing. Just keep moving forwards. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this new moon channel. I hope you got the messages you needed. Big, bold vision, go for it, divine it. Doesn't matter if you know how, the divine will co-create this with you. If you allow yourself to receive the next steps and then take the action of it, receive another step, take the action, and another step, take the action. Allow the divine to co-create with you. You have this big, bold vision and you have this journey because the divine wishes to bring this into form. Be all of you, not half of you. You're here to be all of you. Big bold visions. And I will see you tomorrow for our channel with Serapis Bay, where it's all about an eight year new cycle and how that ties into all this energy that's happening right now. I'm wishing you all a wonderful new moon energy and may you divide in everything that fulfills your soul's mission, your journey, your heart, and your spirit and brings you great, deep joy. Great big love, I'm hearing. Until next time, beautiful souls.